Well, I decided to make a cutting guide for my DeWalt six and a half inch circular saw. And at the same time, I have a dual purpose and use one side as a cutting guide for my router. One of the things about this saw is there's not much clearance between the base plate and the bottom of the motor. So what I'm using is eighth of an inch hardboard. I got a two by four foot sheet from Harbor Freight, uh, no, uh, Home Depot for about $6. So that's what I'm using. And the factory edge is usually square right on. So I want to keep that so to keep that marked and identified. I'll just put some blue tape. That'll signify the factory cut. And I also now have the good side down because circular saws, the blade spins up and if I get any tear out, it'll be on the not so good side as opposed to the good side. I'm also using the straight edge so I can get as straight as possible on the opposite side because I'll sh show you later. This will be a, the edge for my router guide. So let's get started cutting it. Wasn't bad on the tear out at all. Put the battery out, measuring from the clay to the end is four inches. So I'm going to glue my cutoff piece about four and a quarter inches from the edge, and then we'll we'll cut off that one piece. So this way. This and this line will be both parallel. And I'm using the factory edge as my guide. As you can see where I put the tape, so I knew this was going to be the factory edge. I'm using the rough side onto the uh, smooth side. I don't think it'll matter. using some Sherwin-Williams paint cans. Exterior white. To hold down the hold down the piece. dry for a while and then come back and trim it off okay it's been a couple hours now for this glue to set up and let's make our final pass on this
So now we have our straight edge. These two pieces are parallel. Let's try it out. This side of my OSB board is damaged, so we're going to cut it off. We'll try it out. Making sure nothing's underneath here in the way. There you have it. Pretty easy. Now we'll look at doing the other side for my router. So I've got the edge for my DeWalt six and a half inch saw on this side. And now we'll do an edge on the opposite side for my DeWalt router. And I'm using a half inch straight bit here. And I cut off the excess with my saw first, and now I'll just square up the edge. Well, let's check it out. We'll put a dado, half inch dado, right in this two by. There you go. Couldn't be simpler. Well, there you have it. Two edge guides and one jig. One side for my router. One side for the circular saw. And I went ahead and marked them because I'll never remember what it is. So there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next project. And I'm using the factory edge as my guide. As you can see where I put the tape, so I knew this was going to be the factory edge.